Hello, this is your BNB specialist, and today I'm going to show you how you can automate Airbnb messages. All the messages which are sent to your guests, you can automate them. Uh, Airbnb has released this really cool feature recently. Uh, it doesn't let you do a hell lot of things, but the basic stuff, the basic messages, the repetitive messages which you need to send to the guests, you can send them very easily. So let me show you how you can do that. Uh, for that, you just need to go into your Airbnb inbox and just open any message from uh, a previous guest or your existing guest. And if you scroll to the bottom of the chat where you are meant to type a message, uh, click on this scheduled message button, which you will see. This is a newly added feature, uh, Airbnb added it early February 2021. Click on the scheduled messages and that gives you a pop-up to choose and create a scheduled message. Click on create a scheduled message and that opens an entirely new window. And now a couple of things to understand on this form. The first one is the name. It is the internal name, which is for your reference. You can give it any name. For example, I will give it like uh, booking confirmation message. Okay, so we're going to try and create a booking confirmation message. Now, when it comes to typing the message, we will say hi. And now the, the next cool thing is you want to personalize these messages. You want the guest to feel like they have been sent for them. And for that, Airbnb gives you short codes. So you click on this short code option and that gives you a drop down of possible fields which you can use so for example i will just say guest first name you can choose you just need to choose that and it airbnb will automatically pick up the first name of the message or of the guest for that booking and you use that in the message so you they will never get a generic message so which is really cool so let's carry on creating this um, i'm going to say hi guest first name uh, thank you for uh, choosing to stay with us. We look forward to seeing you shortly. Okay, let's see if there is any other message we can use. Ideally, I would like to say your booking is confirmed for this and this date for X night for five people or X people. So let's see if it has those short codes or not. So you click here, guest first name. So check in date, check in time, check out time. This is amazing. You can choose a lot of values, and Airbnb is always going to pick up these values from your listing. So whatever check out time or check in time you have uh, mentioned on your listing, it is going to pick it up from there. So let's try and be more creative uh, without taking too much time. Uh, here are some details of your reservation you can say uh, uh, start date we're going to say and in the start date i'm going to choose check-in date uh, and then i'm going to say check out date uh, let's call it check-in date as well check-in date yep and i'm going to choose for checkout date and you can say uh, check in in the next message for some reason it is not letting me go uh, maybe it has a character yeah okay and um, check in start time is you can choose check-in time and check-out is and check-out is you can choose the check-out time and now if you want to say for example Wi-Fi network details are you can choose the same way you know 
the short codes for the Wi-Fi details. It is going to pick up the Wi-Fi user, Wi-Fi network name and password you have mentioned on your listing. How cool is that? And house rules, house manuals, all those things you, you can just describe once on your listing and you can keep on using them in within these messages. So let's not take too much time on this. So that way you can create the message. Now, if it comes to sending it, you can choose, if you have multiple listings, you can choose which listings you want Airbnb to apply this message on. For example, I will say these three. And then the next one is scheduling. So it gives you three options under scheduling. First one is booking confirmed. So you can send this message as soon as the booking is confirmed. Once you choose that, it will let you choose when to send, which is the next option. You can say immediately after, five minutes after, or the time, I mean, 24 hours after. Uh, you can choose when you want to send this message. It is usually better to confirm the reservation as soon as possible. So I usually send it five minutes after that. Immediately after that, I won't recommend because sometimes as soon as the as soon as the guest books, if a message goes them goes out to them, they may not they won't be accept, expecting a message so quickly and they might miss out that message. So I would recommend keeping a five minute delay after the reservation. And once that is done, you can click on create and there it is. After this, every booking which comes for these listings, Airbnb will automatically send our message to the guest as per the template you have defined. Similarly, you can create other two kinds of messages, which is check-in message. Uh, I could send, I could choose to send this message a few days before the check-in. So you can say check-in seven days before the check-in and you can choose the time as well so you can say 3 p.m seven days before uh, the check-in date send this message to the guest automatically how cool is that same way you can choose the checkout date uh, and you can choose how many days before that and you can choose what time it's going to go and just save you can send uh, all these repetitive messages which we all send to our guest manually and let the computer do it and it's free you don't have to pay anything so that's one thing this is free and this is airbnb has recently released it and i'm hoping they're going to expand it a bit more there are lots of other cool things that are possible in this and for the same reason there are some third-party tools who do that for a fraction of money i'm going to share a link in uh, in the description of my chat uh, of this video you can follow up, uh, follow that link to see the tools I recommend for complete automation. I do not use Airbnb automation uh, because it is a very tiny automation. I use a third party tool, which not only sends messages to my guests, it also sends a message, automated message to my cleaning team, uh, telling them when a guest is due to arrive, when a guest is due to go. Uh, it also does a lot of cool other clever things like not only three types of messages, it can also detect questions if the guest is asking about parking, early check-in, early check-out, uh, those kind of things. It, it can do a lot of other cool stuff and for a fraction of, uh, of the price, I think it costs about uh, $10 uh, per listing. So check that uh, tutorial. Uh, check that tool as well if you fancy otherwise this tool if you're just a basic user you do not want too much complications and you're happy with these three messages go for it just give it a shot but one thing to be clear do not send those repetitive messages manually you're bound to make mistakes and when computer can do a job why not let the computer do the job i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next video Thank you. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. That will encourage me to make more such videos. Bye-bye.